Welcome to the Lead Pedal Podcast with your host, Bruce Outridge, where he talks all things trucking. Now let's get rolling. Hey everybody, how are we doing today? Welcome to another edition of the Lead Pedal Podcast. This is episode number 1167. And I thought I would share with you some of the five inspirational people in trucking. Without them, we probably wouldn't have an industry. And I'm going to share that with you right after I tell you about these inspirational people. Bison Transport, that's right, they've been with us for a long time. They're a great sponsor of our show. But you know what? they got some great opportunities for you. And uh, one of them is that in the wintertime, they have their right to decide policy. And they are renowned for this. They uh, they make people use it, which I thought is pretty weird. But uh, yeah, they want you to uh, know that you can stop at any time that you don't feel uh, fit on your trip, whether it be for an illness, weather-related, um, safety-related, whatever it might be. They don't want you to go down the road feeling unsafe. They don't ask any questions. They let you decide when you want to be uh, when you want to be on the road. You just give them a call and say, I'm stopping. And they say, thanks. Let us know when you're going again. And that is it, my friends. And that's the call, the right to decide. And they want you to use that in the wintertime because they know that you are the people who know what's safe for you. And everybody is different. So that's one of the safety bonuses they have. Um, and they have a big safety bonus as well, which is a lot of people get because of that right to decide program. So they know what they're doing. Uh, you know what? Hey, check out Bison. You can go to uh, Bison driving.com and check out all the opportunities they have terminals all throughout north america so that you can uh, get involved at the one closest to you all right let's talk a little bit about the uh the the history of the trucking industry i pulled out five people now these five people i pulled out are not the only people that were in, inspirational in the trucking industry let's get that straight i just picked out five i there's probably more there's maybe some in between there um but i uh, i picked out uh, alexander winton uh dwight eisenhower luella bates john boyd dunlap and little elizabeth Brennan. Now, I'm going to tell you about each one of these, and I'm going to tell you why I think they're inspirational. Um, again, there may be more people in here that uh, should be there. I just picked five, <laughs> and I picked a couple women, and I picked some men, and I'm just trying to be a nice guy. <laughs> so I picked them for even, but I thought they they are inspirational. Now, there might be more people that have developed stuff, especially now. These are kind of older people, but that's what got things started, and without them, we wouldn't have... Um, we wouldn't have some of them. So let's start with uh, uh, Mr. Alexander Winton. Now, Alexander Winton is, cr- is um, credited with the first semi-truck. Without that, we ain't got the rest of it, right, folks? <laughs> That's it. Like, he's the one who actually came in with, uh, he invented the world's first semi-truck in 1898 and sells... Uh, a sales first manufactured semi truck in 1899. Winston uh, Motor Carriage Company's first made passenger cars, but needed a way to deliver them to buyers, and so they decided, hey, let's make a car hauler, and we'll just take them ourselves. So that's what they did, which is pretty impressive, you know. And that's what trucking has always been, right? It's been about solving problems, even if they're your own. <laughs> How do we get the cars? I guess they could have driven them. I'm not sure. <laughs> but he said, hey, why don't we drive them one to one? Then I need like eight drivers. Let's just get on. on uh, and if you saw this uh, first uh, truck, it was like a car. <laughs> this is a single axle car with a wagon wheel trailer. So that's, that is pretty clue. Cool. All right. So uh, the second one here that I thought was uh, pretty inspirational was uh, Dwight Eisenhower. Now, Dwight Eisenhower uh, was known uh, for creating the uh, highway system in the U.S. And uh, if you know anything about the national system of interstate and defense highways, uh, he created it, or was it at least his team that created it? And uh, without this, in the 20th century is when they created this. In 1953 is when he was in uh, there, but in, uh, uh, let's see, the 1926, the United States numbered highway system was established, creating the first national road numbering system for cross-country travel. Now, the reason I think this is pretty inspirational, because... Um, Without that, I can't imagine. I can't imagine how people travel through the U.S. without those that numbering system. Like there is, there is a system. I wish there was one for Canada. It's not as good as the one in the U.S. Uh, but without that, I mean, I've that's the one of the things I learned very quickly. It's one of the things I've used many times uh, before CB radios and phones and all those other things. Uh, the highway system was how you managed to tell somebody where you are. And uh, it is a quite an amazing system for somebody who uh, 
if they want to if they want to use it. So I think that's uh, that's pretty cool. So so we've got uh, Alexander Winton for semi truck, and we've got Dwight Eisenhower who uh, started the uh, the national um, numbering system in the U.S. And uh, when we come back, I'm going to tell you about uh, who created the tire. <laughs> I bet you already know that anyway. But let's let's get into uh, some of the. Um, You know what? Let's talk about driver check for a minute, shall we? Because driver check is one of those people that want to keep your workplace safe. They're drug and alcohol testing programs. They've got workplace safety programs. They can help you with procedures. They've got help you with medical uh, stuff and testing for your workplace. Where do you find... Where do you find all that out? Well, you go to drivercheck.ca. That's where you go. Drivercheck.ca. Check out their Fitness for Duty Summit. They have one every year, and it answers a lot of questions. They have top doctors talk about uh, cannabis in the workplace and those kind of things. And I got to tell you, it's not getting better, friends. It's getting worse. So you want to make sure your workplace is safe? Go to drivercheck.ca. All right, let's talk about the tire, shall we? That's right, that's right. Who invented the tire? Well, I think you already figured that out with a name like Dunlop, right? So we have uh, John Boyd Dunlop, who was the the person uh, accredited with uh, finding the tires. Okay, so the tire was a ring-shaped component. It actually started... um, in, in England, and it was, uh, that's why they say T-Y-R-E. If you've ever seen tires spelt uh, in an English um, Commonwealth con- country, that's how they do it. But the materials in modern pneumatic tires are synthetic rubber, natural rubber, and all of that was uh, kind of created um, for uh, for a number of uh, applications from trucks to bicycles to Everything and so this is where it is. so it says. Uh, let's see the history. Uh, earliest tires were leather. <laughs> Can you imagine that? And then it said uh, the first uh, patent was by Robert William Thompson. However, he never did anything with that patent. And then in 1888 on Main Street, Belfast, Scots-born John Boyd Dunlop, owner of one of Ireland's most prosperous prosperous veterinary practices uh, it was an effort to prevent the headaches of his 10 year old son while riding his tricycle on uh, rough pavement and uh, wow that's not how I would have come across tires but that's how it worked my friend uh, so that while his son was uh, doing that he was not getting headaches and the, and the like so that's how the tire came in uh, Dunlop's tire patent specifications dated um, October 31st 1888 his interest is only in its use in cycles and light vehicles in 1890 he was made aware of early developments but the company kept the information to itself and uh, let's see in 1892 Dunlop's patent was declared invalid um by fellow Scott Robert William Thompson, so they've been battling it out. Uh, and uh, anyway, he got in. He got in there and got it. Got it done. So, uh, for 1946, Michelin developed the radial tire and brought it into uh, the rest of the world. So uh, we'll leave that there. But uh, basically, um, you know, he got that thing going to help his son, which I think is very, very cool. All right, let's just talk about um, the inspirational women. This is something that I think. We need to really uh, focus on here because a lot of uh, women were trailblazers in this. I think you may know some of these names. Uh, Luella Bates is one of them. And uh, during World War I, many women had to step into jobs left vacant by men who went off to war. Luella Bates is credited with being the first female commercial truck driver uh, and was a promotional driver and test drove Model B trucks. She was also known for being a mechanic and truck inspector. There you go. Don't tell me women can't do this. And of course, and there was, um, I had uh, some different ones here than uh, the one that's uh, out there. There's little Elizabeth McCree Drennan. Uh, she got into the business of trucking during her second marriage. She and her husband started the Drennan Truck Lines. And then when they divorced, Drennan became the sole owner. Although Drennan spent much of her time running her successful business, she also continued to drive trucks herself and was well known for her stellar safety record. She also has a strong voice of workplace equality. So I think that was... 
those are the two that I had on there. So if we look at the five that I thought the top five people, Alexander um, Winton, Dwight Eisenhower, John Boyd Dunlop, Luella Bates, and little Elizabeth Brennan. So there's also, uh, just to, to round out some of the women here, uh, Matsy Lanham became a truck driver during the time of the war and was the first woman to be hired to drive for UPS in 1943. Women UPS drivers eventually became known as Brown Bettys. And uh, uh, Bitsy Gomez was certainly a trailblazing woman. In mid-'70s, she formed the Coalition of Women Truck Drivers to Fight Discrimination and Harassment in the Industry. So we've got some real inspirational people on both sides, women and men. Congratulations to all of them because, you know what, they have made a big difference in what they do. And if you want to make a big difference in what you do, let me tell you something here. Driver Verified is where you can go and do that that's right have you not you haven't done this yet you haven't got the free profile what are you waiting for it's already january man get out there get it done get it done shall you all right so here you go go to driververified.com all you gotta do is set up a free profile you can have your employment records you can then photos you can add awards you can do all of that and then you know what it's searchable so someone can find you um, based on the criteria it's verified by uh, their system and insurance and all that so you know you got the right information and it's just going to make you look better it's like an online resume and you can add more awards and stuff to it so man get it set up today you don't pay unless you send stuff out and uh, you know what I would check with companies because a lot of them probably pay that for you anyway but hey I didn't say that on the, I didn't say that on air did I oh yeah I guess I did uh, anyway uh, you know what that's the first step to be a professional in, in 2024 so get that done driververified.com all right hey thanks for listening everybody you know where to find us lots of stuff coming up so uh thanks for joining us and um uh make sure you follow us on social we're on instagram facebook twitter tiktok linkedin x youtube podcast wherever you get your podcast you can find us all right and of course you got website and so much more thanks everybody for listening hope you're doing well out there bye for now and be safe out there this has been another episode of the lead pedal podcast for more information or to subscribe to the podcast visit the lead pedal and be sure to follow the podcast on facebook and twitter